our jail, stay out of trouble, and all type of shit. You feel me? Fuck them gray, but the world of internet hoaxes by my boy Tommy NFG, man. You feel me? The world of internet hoaxes, boy. It's been so much bap ass shit on the internet, for and rumors that turned out to be fucking false. I can name a couple, but I'm letting my boy do that shit, man. Shout out Tommy MAG. You feel me? I fuck with folks, man. A lot. Fun and great. Let's get it! Growing up in the age of the internet, I feel like every. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. What just happened? Should I help me? Help me. Growing up in the age of the internet, I feel like every generation is born for some type of brain dead hoaxes. Whether it be 80 year olds seeing a fake Facebook article on how Apple plants chips in kids' brains and they're gonna set off after 20 years, or Gen right. Z falling for the weekly Twitter. <clears throat> Sorry, X hoax because right. they saw it trending. It's just really. F Yo, I. You know, it's funny. I talked about this um a few streams ago, and I talk about this a lot on my streams too about people chat. Twitter slash X, what the fuck you want to call it? Twitter um is like the main place where misinformation gets spread. I like I've talked about this. I said like chat motherfuckers are going on Twitter and see a tweet about some shit or whatever the situation might be that has like a lot of likes and shit and all of that and automatically think this is true about somebody or something. Just cause this shit has a lot of likes. You don't do your research. You don't do no type of research. You just see and be like, oh my God, what? What the fuck? Twitter's the main place where misinformation gets spread. I hope y'all know that. And out of context shit happened. A lot of motherfuckers is canceled through, to this day because of out of context ass shit. I swear, Twitter is the only place probably in that where you can spin your own narrative on shit. I can make up a whole room on Twitter. I bet everybody just believe me. You can literally spin a whole narrative. Motherfucker, it's like streamers, for example, folks. You know all them little meme pages, what the fuck you want to call them, don't Twitter that be posting Kai, Rage, Brew, and who ain't all them niggas? I swear, them niggas are like the main niggas that be doing that shit. Them niggas literally be taking clips from them niggas' streams out of fucking context. Twitter is the main place, people, where shit can be taken out of context and is the main place where you can spread misdirection and misinformation. I swear to God. You could do you could delude. I swear to God, it's the only way where you could literally just delude the fuck out of everybody, folks. Funny to look back at all the shit people Tell were fought for in the early internet times and think there's no way these people are still living on the same planet with us now. But I actually look back at these like treasure, gold mines, things that gather humanity together, which is impossible now to do to the same degree. And I first want to start off with some childhood hoaxes. One that used to be popular in the 90s and 2000s what? for some reason was the Chinese middle finger. This shit. What? What the fuck is a Chinese? What is that? What does that mean? What is it? I've never it had heard to be about one that. of the most bonker, racially motivated lies told in schools around America for the. I've world. never heard about that day in my life. I've never heard it. Have y'all ever heard about this shit? I've never heard about this. Bonkers. For people that don't know, there used to be a rumor that you could replace the main middle finger insult with the pinky one to avoid getting in trouble at. <laughs> what <laughs> type of dumb ass shit? School. Because people thought it's how Chinese people flipped off other Chinese people. And I just wrong with that nigga. What, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga's neck? To avoid getting in trouble at school. Because people thought it's how Ew. Of Chinese people flipped off other Chinese people. And I distinctly Why would you think Chinese people f f say fuck you like that? Why? I remember when I was told this in elementary school. Because me growing I up never in my life was told this shit. I, this is my first time hearing about this shit. Strict what the fuck? Parents, this just I always stupid avoid doing fuck. something to get me in trouble at school. But once I found out about the Chinese middle finger, whoo, I abused the fuck out of this one I could. I'd be walking in the hallways, pointing it at kids. Walking in the lunch lines, Make pointing it, it at kids. Coming down the playground slide, pointing it at kids. You had every kid thinking they were a f badass and smooth criminal because they never got caught using this tactic. But looking back, yeah, we, we just believed in anything. Why the f*** was this even a thing? Kids was acting like if you went to China and put up your pinky finger that the CCP would personally throw you in a concentration camp themselves. It had to be one of those things that just spread ear by ear because this still doesn't make sense to me to this day. I kind of understand the notion now though because there are certain hand signals you can't do in certain countries that are pretty odd. Like in Afghanistan and Iran, if you give someone a thumbs up, it doesn't mean good job an amazing job and keep it up it essentially means they take it up the ass and so if i do this to somebody in afghanistan or iran pretty much i'm saying you take it up the ass 
Oh. Okay. Interesting. That isn't even a lie. You can search it up. It is considered uh, as means of expressing your liking towards something. However, if you give thumbs up at Iran, means it means incident. It means indecent and offensive insult, which means sit on it. This is similar to raise your middle finger. So it's pretty much like, yeah, sit on it. Take this shit up your ass. Bitch ass nigga. I'm going to start doing that shit. I'm gonna be, they'll be like, what you saying good job to me for? I'm like, hell no, nigga. I'm saying sit on my thumb, bitch ass nigga. Fuck you talking about. But at the same time, if you're already in Afghanistan and Iran, you probably weren't gonna make it out anyways. Lord. Going. Yo, that's 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 so fucked up. Shout out the most. Back to the lie though. I always thought it must have been the worst time ever to be Asian in the '90s and 2000s. Because Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Facts for white. Chat. I ain't gonna lie. Right. If you was like Asian during the '90s and, and 2000s, like growing up, if you was like Asian growing up during those times. I know y'all niggas had a hard time. Y'all niggas really was the punching bag of those eras. And I'm sorry y'all was. Asian people were really the punching bag when it came to jokes from movies, from TV shows, from games. So even from comic books and folk. Them niggas, Asian people were really the punching bag. Like to like comedy satire. Like, oh my God. Racism was going crazy back then. You had kids doing the eye thing all the time. Yeah, I've never seen kids do this shit. I don't really go with what motherfuckers doing this. Cause chat, like I'm like I said, I'm from the hood. So like I didn't really I don't know, like I didn't grow up with motherfuckers doing this shit. I seen a couple motherfuckers doing it, but I didn't really, you know. Hi man. I never did it. Don't look at me. I ain't never did it. You know what I think I'm talking about. I'm not about to do it, okay? Yeah, Niggas me will drop pants down the stairs. If I do this shit right now, I'm getting banned. Stairs and point to their Asian friend talking about. You heard the ping pong clink clink sound? That sounds just like your name. And Yo, I the reason I'm bringing this up is that I may have done one or two of these things when I was a kid. Look, I was young and I didn't understand. Okay, this is just my part. Have I ever made an Asian joke? I, I probably have. I probably just don't remember. It probably was so ass. Probably don't remember. I was really. My age. You know what's so crazy, chat? Y'all might not believe me, but I swear to God, it's good. Like, on my daddy grave. Like, I really wasn't a fucking, like, an edgy ass nigga growing up. Like, I didn't really. Yeah, I'd have my moments, but I've never really was like a. Like a insensitive ass nigga, if that's the right word I'm losing, using. Like, I've never really was like the type to make people angry on purpose. And I've never was like that type. I was just a really a quiet nigga growing up. Like, I never, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Mm viewers it still lives on my conscience another childhood lie that i'm 99.99 percent .99 sure everyone was told as a kid is that leaving the car lights on was an absolute sin by god my mama told me this shit growing up and i don't know why she used to tell me that shit my mom used to say like if we left the car lights on like she would get pulled over or some shit in the car. Like, I don't know. I think that was just my mama's way of just telling us to do that so we would just stop fucking doing it. <laughs> she used to tell us, folks, if we left the lights on in the car, then she gonna go to jail, get pulled over and all type of stupid ass shit. But like I said, I'm older. I understand she used to just tell us that because we used to just leave them lights on. She hated us fucking doing that shit. You feel me? I swear, why, why did my mama God's do that name, shit? If you did it, they would instantly sentence you to hanging in prison. Pretty much, it's what my mama told me. It's Seriously, though, me. what was with it and car lights being such a problem back then? I Here. don't fucking know why. Nowadays, it's not, but like, I swear to God, for you was growing up back then, I don't know what the fuck the deal was with car lights being on. I don't understand. Like, it was like a sin or some shit. Treat you turning it on like you just spit in God's face. Kids will get yelled at down to tears for this. It made no sense. Yes. And it still doesn't to me. There are grown people with PTSD now that still think it is and won't even try that night. I remember coming up with a theory years later on this because I feel like nobody cared enough to. What I think happened is every parent back then had telekinesis with each other secretly and was told this lie by some secret world or facts. <laughs> for all of the next generation of kids. That's why I love And if they the told the truth years later, up. they would have disintegrate and have every trace of them wiped off the planet, never to be seen again. Which is why we still don't understand it and the mystery has gone on to this day. Or it was probably them just trying to have kids not be annoying with the lights in the car. Like I just said, I just said that. But, but I'm on to something, I'm telling you. Another childhood one I remember is the Bloody Mary game. <laughs> that was fun. Fun fact chat, y'all might call me a weird ass nigga, but growing up, I was really never scared of anything growing up. Is that weird? Like, when I was a little kid, this is probably like this is probably so rare, but like 
I loved horror movies when I was a little ass kid. Like, I was never afraid of the dark. I was never the type of nigga to run upstairs because, hold on. You know how motherfuckers, like, when it's real dark somewhere, when they turn off the lights at night, you run up the stairs, you think some shit chase you? I was never that type of kid. I never did any of that. I was never afraid of the dark. I never cared about sleeping in my room. Chat, I used to watch horror movies late at night when I was a little kid and go sleep in my dark ass room and not give a fuck. I did the Candyman challenge. I sat in the dark ass room, said Candyman in the mirror, Bloody Man, all type of shit. I never was scared. I don't know. Am I weird? Never. I never was scared of any, like, anything like that. I didn't give a fuck about it. I, I just didn't care. People like Chucky, Freddy, I did not give a fuck. That shit, I actually found that shit raw as hell. I was like, oh my God, Freddy, oh my God, this nigga raw as hell. I hope I see this nigga. That's probably weird. But now, it's like, I still don't fuck with scary games. I, mean, I fuck with scary... Actually, no, I'm not gonna say I don't fuck with scary games because I love scary games. That's probably why I love scary games. Like, I don't like them, but I love them. That's probably why. Is that weird? I swear to God, I'm not lying. I, you can ask my mama. Like, I was not a, like a little scary nigga growing up when it came to like anything that was like horror or anything. When it came to games I played... I played so many horror games growing up, chat, when I was a little boy. I watched so many movies and shows, and I never was scared to sleep in my room as a little boy. I was never scared of the dark. I could go in the basement. I swear to God. I even went in the basement. It was late at night in the basement, in the dark-ass basement, and said Candyman and Bloody Mary a bunch of times. I did not give a fuck. Didn't care. <laughs> for fun. I did the shit for fun. Just for a fucking three. I did it for fun. Because I was hoping to see that shit. Man, Damn, if you didn't try to spawn Bloody Mary into this world as a kid, I- Don't phone him, you had lame-ass childhood. <laughs> no, you was a bitch. Bloody Mary was a him. game where you would go into the bathroom and try to spawn this scary bitch. There's a whole yeah. ritual that's long and tedious, but pretty much you would just turn off the lights, look into the mirror- And just say Bloody Mary. Don't you gotta say it like fat times? Hey, Bloody Mary. Three times and oh, she had a God. chance right. of spawning into this world. Every public I used to be in that Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Candyman, 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 Candyman. Chat, I'm telling y'all niggas right now, I was a weird ass kid growing up. I'm not playing like, I did shit like that for a thrill. I was never really scared of shit. I don't know what was wrong with me, but like, I just didn't care about shit. I could watch... That was really my favorite thing growing up. I didn't care about any other movies. I just love watching horror movies. I did not care. I never was scared. None of that shit. I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> my mom used to try to scare me a lot when I was little, but it never worked because I was, I was weird. I don't know. I, damn, what the fuck was wrong with me? I don't know why. Damn. Was at a risk that at some weird. Point. Kids would just run in to say Bloody Mary, then dip. I remember kids doing this distinctly in the school bathroom, and as soon as you heard a nigga say Bloody Mary, everyone after everybody ran out that motherfucker. I remember that, yo. <laughs> so we booked it out the bathroom from every Hell which no. end and every which way to never be seen oh, shit, again. Now, fuck? was there any real proof that Bloody Mary ever spawned? Um, no, no, nothing. It. it. Slender man, all that goof at no. I'm here to tell you from a nigga that did it literally probably over a hundred times with Candyman, Bloody Mary, and all them other creatures. I'm still here, so I, I guess not. <laughs> no, but to this day, I'm not doing this shit again. I mean, it's different times, it's a whole new decade. I can't trust the bitch won't spawn now. And wrapping <laughs> up childhood hoaxes to this day, the one that hasn't been disproven has had scientists all over the world stumped at its possibility of even being able to happen in our universe. What? Millions of years of evolution just to figure out how this is even possible. And that is your parents holding your money when you. <laughs> Chat. I swear to you, oh my life, if I could tell you how much money I done lost to my grandma and my mama from them quote unquote holding it for me. Chat, my mama and there was so, y'all not gonna believe me, but my mama and there was so bogus when I used to believe in the tooth fairy and shit. And you know, like when you put tooth, oh my God, you put tooth under your pillow, tooth fairy gonna come and give you money and shit. But obviously it was your mama and them doing that shit. My mom didn't used to leave, put the money under my pillow, right? And I used to be like, look, my got this from the two fairy and shit, woo woo. They used to be so paid that they used to be like, even though they gave it to me, they used to be like, oh my God, really? Well, let me hold that for you because I don't want you to lose it. Yeah. That's how paid my mama was. She did that shit to me. Yeah. She so big, pretty much, my mama faked like the like like the, the two fairy was real and shit, right? Put money under my pillow just to take that shit from me. 
Chat, uh, y'all don't understand. I've been through so much. <laughs> my mama, I love my mama. She was so bogus when I was growing up. <laughs> Any money I found or anything, let me hold it for you. And I've never seen that shit. <laughs> Ew, no, it's good. You I swear to God. Still to this day, I haven't heard from any of my friends that they got that money back. It was I swear to God. And I, I and since I'm still alive to this day, I can tell you, I've never, I never got the money back. I'm still waiting, Ma. I'm still waiting. It's been so fucking long. I'm still waiting. The money that you held for me, I'm still waiting. I'm grown. I'm a grown ass man now. Where's where's my money at, Mama? It's almost like it just never existed. Now moving on to the main categories, internet hoaxes. I want to oh, start yeah, off with one go. I fondly remember and look back at how stupid go. people were to actually believe it. And that is the McDonald's pink Oh my God, it's people. Y'all remember this whole thing? I remember this whole theory right here. They thought McDonald's food, like from their burgers, their fries, chicken nuts was all made of pink slime. I remember this. Slime. If you were on this. the internet at all, you'd remember this specific image causing pandemonium to people. If you yep. don't know, pink slime is controversial because it's leftover beef that gets turned into ground beef. And because the meat is so disgustingly dirty, it gets treated with ammonia to keep bacteria and salmonella from forming. It makes sense for people to be scared of it too. When I hear the same ingredients being used in the food as right. the same one that cleans my floor with lemon flavor, I get a little bit sick. But the rumor was McDonald's was using this pink slime in their chicken nuggets, which is why they always have that nice crunch and softness feel. But come here and really think with me for a second. How the f would they turn this into an actual edible meal? Exactly. Soft-served ice cream, it would literally make zero type of sense. And this rumor got so big, you had every face. Dead ass. It got so fucking Check. When I tell you this in that, like this hoax wasn't just big. It got mainstream big. Big YouTubers was talking about, fo, I look, this shit. Look, parent never look. letting their kid eat at McDonald's again, I mean, McDonald's which might have been a good thing. Back at it. News what stations were running stories on it. I have not ate uh, Mc, uh, McDonald's in like since, yeah, since 2016. I swear to God, I haven't ate since then. And not because of that, it just, I just, I, I got, I, I didn't like it no more. Which forced McDonald's hand into making a whole video debunking it and breaking down their process of making them. They even have an entire page on their website that debunks it now. The internet is way too powerful because they really got one of the most successful businesses to ever exist. To have to make a step-by-step -step breakdown on their secret way to make their prize possession right. for everyone. If only other places like Burger King and Wendy's took notes because they still taste like Komodo, Dragon, Nutsack, and Cat Anus. Hey, I fuck with Wendy's. Fuck Burger King and fuck McDonald's. Well, I fuck with Wendy's. There. Next hoax is the 2012 Apoc. Oh, yeah. Everybody thought the world was going to end and all that goof ass shit. I mean, this shit was, I remember motherfuckers talking about this shit on the radio when I was in the car and shit during that time. I remember that shit. Yeah, I remember that. Everybody thought the world was going to end. It was going to be apocalypse. It was about to be all type of crazy shit. I remember that. Man, certain day. What date was it supposed to end? <laughs> there was a certain point where everyone tried to live the best years of their lives before 2012. Which yeah, because everybody thought the world was going to fucking end. All of a sudden was just doomsday. And yeah. the hoax went something like this. The Mayan calendar, which is one of the... Yup, it was this right here. Yup, it was this right here. Because everybody, the Mayan calendar had said some shit about the world was going to end in 2012. Most ancient and accurate calendar systems to ever be created in humanity was going to mark its 5,126-year-old cycle around December 12th. Well, and this new cycle was important because it would start its return with the ancient mind god known for its wrath and destruction. But people pretty much didn't know shit about that and just looked at it like, so you're telling me the world is going to entirely f end by this day and it's over? <laughs> but for us, it can't be emphasized how much pandemonium and how much people were scared room, of this year. People were walking the street. Like I told y'all, it was on the fucking radio and shit. I used to see videos on YouTube about that shit. It's what the end is near signs. There were entire books written on this prophecy. An entire movie was made on how- Yes, this movie was made. I ain't watched this movie, but I remember seeing a fucking trailer to this movie would go down people were sending their loved ones final messages in case anything happens and you cannot emphasize the stupidness of this time because the way people actually predicted we would go out in humanity would be that an entire other f 
planet would crash into Earth <laughs> on that what? day. Acting like NASA or any astronomy program couldn't detect a giant planet heading towards Earth millenniums before. NASA even had to issue multiple statements saying nothing would happen to calm down people. Looking back, I wouldn't have minded if Earth ended in 2012, though. Okay? To be honest with you, for a nigga that's still alive in 2023, I, I wish it would have ended in 2012. I really wish. Like, that that was cool during the time, and now that I'm still alive, oh my god, I really wish it. Oh my god. I wish it would have ended. Oh my god, it would have been the greatest thing of all time. Sadly, the world, well, for all you motherfuckers, from all you past motherfuckers that's still in 2012, hey, I'm from the future. Um, Yeah, the, no, it, it didn't. Sadly, the world, sadly and disappointing, no, the world didn't end. Angle well, hopefully it will one day. Biggest song of the year. Swag was the style. Oh my fucking god. Can we talk about this shit, chat? What was this style in 2011, 2012, 2013? What was this, like, 2010 style? What was this shit? <laughs> swag, right? The word, sw like, the swag was a thing. Hey, only real niggas remember this, Zendaya. This is Shake It Up, Zendaya. Only real niggas, this is uh, Shake It Up, Zendaya. I don't know. I don't know about the Spider-Man Zendaya. This is Zendaya I grew up with. <laughs> Oh, Chicago, shake it up, boy. Fuck it, Tom Bell. This is the hey, this is the Zendaya I fucking grew up with. And I had a big ass crush on the ass woman. I was a shorty. Why did motherfuckers used to dress like this though? I ain't gonna lie. Zendaya used to put that shit on though. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna front my shit. I, I this shit's stupid. But Zendaya used to put that shit on. Zendaya used to dress like a tomboy, folks. She really did used to dress like a tomboy. On phone and gray. You feel me? All of the year, YouTube was in its renaissance. Oh my god, chat look. Y'all see this fuck nigga. I don't really like this fuck nigga no more. I don't hate him. I just don't run. But chat. 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 Only real niggas know this game. <laughs> Only real niggas know this game. <laughs> oh my god. I remember this shit. And I watched this nigga play this during this time. Yo, what the fuck? Is that how much time has passed? Because I really remember watching this. Sitting in. Yo. This game, what the fuck was it called? I think it was called Lucius or Lucas or some shit like that. Lucas or like Lucius or some shit. And I watched this this nigga whole playthrough do this shit. YouTube was in this prime. Doing that time. Oh my god, it was so many games. Chat, it was so many games. It was so many games and played. Oh my god. Oh my god, it was so. That's when the drill era of Chicago started, folks. You feel me? And the rack shit was busting on my dead grave, folks. Yo. Take me back to those times. It was so peaceful, man. Man, y'all kids don't know, but hey, only real niggas know this game, though. On Photo Gray, I remember this fucking game. <laughs> with Let's Plays and Walk. Yo, Let's Plays was the shit in the early 2010s. Oh my God, Let's Plays were the fucking shit. I used to binge the, fo, I used to binge watch the fuck out of YouTube with like Let's Plays. Those were like the shit. If you was doing Let's Plays on YouTube, you was pretty much, you was him. Pretty much you was him. Niggas ain't give a fuck about skits and none of that goof ass shit. If you did Let's Plays and shit, fo, you was him. Oh my brother, you was him. Bruce, Disney Channel and Cartoon. Fo, this shit with Cartoon, Disney Channel was at its peak too. Oh my. Nick alone was at its peak, fo. You kids, and so crazy. You kids of this generation ain't never gonna ex y'all never got to experience none of this shit. I experienced all this shit. I was old enough. Well, I experienced all this shit, fo. Cause I gotta be telling y'all, I'm older than I look. I experienced all this shit, fo. This shit, yo. <sighs> Flintstones and then Eddie. Two network reaching their final peak. <sighs> Life was good. It was so good. And now, chat, we have motherfuckers dancing on an app called Tic Tacky, and motherfuckers that literally that that literally will cancel your ass for calling them by their wrong pronouns and motherfuckers that literally judge your judge your, your whole life based off your judge no not your life we have motherfuckers that literally judge your whole personality based off the month you was born that's what that's where we at now chat yeah wow 
That shit was 11 years ago. 11 years later, here we are now. We got Andrew Tate's. We got all this goof ass shit. Like, uh, uh, God, why couldn't the world end through that time? Now I kinda wish it was true. Also, did people just not look at the time Mayans predicted this in? The Mayan calendar was created in 3114 BC. God people damn. were really taking predictions from niggas who still wiped their asses with leaves and sticks, <laughs> removing carts with wood wheels, and couldn't even properly show a money spread. Why were we even taking them seriously? I remember Dumbasses. this specific day too, because when I woke up for elementary school that day, my family actually gave zero f we pretty much just went through with our routine day and oh, fuck that my mom did say another Diego, early fuck. internet hoax I gotta mention is the Nigerian print scam. Now this pre oh yeah, the nine one five or what the fuck is called <laughs> the Nigerian print scam. I remember that shit too. Motherfuckers make so many skits based off the Nigerian print scam, shorty. Sure. a lot of Gen Z kids, but just in general, the amount of email hoaxes and scams people fell for has to be in the millions. Yes. I remember opening If you if you give me this, mama, I will make you a millionaire. I'm rich. I'm this Nigerian print. I have all this what we listen. Y'all niggas don't know. That shit almost got me one time. My first email, I'm really shit. thinking all the messages about how I won a bunch of free gift cards were real. It's actually how Ooh, I- Ooh, man. Man. <laughs> I mean, I almost got scammed for an iPhone one time. I had thought, it was just like, oh my congratulations, you just won that iPhone. I remember I gave these people my information, where I lived and all type of shit. But luckily, I had stopped before I gave them my mama credit card for me, because I would not be able to laugh right here to tell the story. Yeah. I found out what a computer virus was because I definitely had a solid 500 Trojan viruses on my mom's computer and spent days trying to fix that hoe. You also had the send this to 10 friends shit that used to be popular. Like, oh yeah, the chain mails and shit. <laughs> Send this to 10 friends. Why would it always be some random nigga out of nowhere messaging you? Yeah. Hey, you just want this iPhone. All you have to do to get it, send this to 10 of your friends, and you will win this free iPhone, this free Xbox, this free PlayStation, this free TV. This $50,000. Just a random ass thing in the world. Out of everybody, he picked you. You just run, you just randomly want an iPhone. Here, here you go, nigga. Yo, but again, I can't even front my shit. I can't make fun of people. I was a little ass, dumb ass little boy, and I almost fell for that shit. You talking about if you don't send this to five friends, Charles a testicle toucher will come into your And it's funny, that was the exact same message I got. You do not send this to five people, yo. Oh man. At 4 a.m. to suck on your balls. Be warned. I wasn't risking nothing happening to me. I valued my life immensely. <laughs> sure, there's a 99% chance it's fake and a hoax, but the 1% chance is Why did motherfuckers used to do that shit though? Them little chain mails. Motherfuckers used to slap my message and be like, if you do not send this to five or ten friends, then this will be in your room tonight, or this what you will look like tomorrow. And I used to damn near fall for that shit. I used to hate that shit. Real is what kept me on the edge of my seat. The hoax that was way scarier than any of that, like it doesn't even compare in size. Two words. That'll put terror into your hearts blue waffle chat i want y'all okay do me a favor don't you ever for those on youtube and you like what the fuck is that don't look it up don't because here's a hint it's not this it's an, i know you like what's so disgusting but don't look up blue waffle don't look up and don't Look up one guy, one jaw. Please, don't do it. Because I did it and just don't look up that either, okay? Oh, God, it was, it was so much blood. It was so, one guy, one jaw. Please don't look up Blue Waffle. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. At first sight, it seems innocent, a pleasant twist to a delicate pastry eaten for decades. Well, that was at least the first thought you thought of when you were yep. told Circus as a kid. And it would end up popping with the most vile f creature that has been set forth into this planet. God. This is one of those things if you don't know, I can't even show you anything. Like dead ass, I couldn't even show y'all. It's not even some shit I could show. I will get like, I'm gonna get banned. I can't show you. Just please. I know curiosity be killing a lot of you niggas. 
please don't look it up. It's just please don't. It, I have a lot of trauma in my childhood. I wish I would have never looked up a lot of shit in my childhood. Obviously, everybody knows uh uh two girls, one cup, one guy, one jaw, blue waffle, and some other shit. Just please don't look it up. Please don't. I'm I'm please just don't do it. Don't. You don't need to know. Don't. And frankly, don't even want to tell you what it is. I'm telling y'all, don't let curiosity make you adventurous with this one. If you don't know, you don't know. And if you do, I'm so sorry. And hope All right, thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. I'm so glad years later I found out it was a complete hoax and no STD like that ever existed. Because if it did, look, I'm 100% straight, but I would have sworn off women right there. And for all the kids who told their friends to search it up as a joke, I hope you know you're going to the deepest pits of hell and Facts. never coming back. Fuck I was a victim of my friends telling me to search this. I never recovered. Let's skip a little bit ahead, though. I gotta mention the 2016... You know, to this day, where did this come from? Why did this start in 2016? I was so confused. Like... Living in Chicago, I never gave a fuck about this shit because, again, I just told y'all niggas in the beginning this, I never was really scared of shit growing up. Even this shit. I was just confused by this shit. Like, I was walking home, everything still playing outside because I didn't give a fuck about none of this shit. I was like, oh, okay. I was just confused. I was just asking around, like, okay, but why is it happening? Why are motherfuckers randomly dressing up as clowns and chasing people? I remember a couple motherfuckers almost got their ass blew down in the rack doing this stupid ass shit. I used to tell motherfuckers, don't come to Chicago doing that goof ass shit. You gonna get your way. You gonna get that ass. Spank, fuck you talking about. Shot my nigga billionaire black boy, ducking all them niggas, my whole FBG. They almost, boy, they almost whacked the nigga trying to do that shit. They'll come to the right doing that stupid ass shit. So I was never worried about shit. I was in Chicago. <laughs> niggas was scared to do that shit in the rack. Come do that shit in the trenches. You getting that ass spanked on phone now. <laughs> but I don't understand why they did this start. I was so confused. What, like, this shit made the news and everything. And like, to this day, I don't know why this was a thing. Why was this a thing? Why did this start? Who started this shit? This some random nigga one day was like, I'm about to just dress up as a clown and just terrorize me. And they used to dead ass chase your ass with weapons, act like they finna, like, kill you, but they not. They just fucking with you. Niggas just weird. Pillar clowns. Man, this was another peak of life right here. And when you- It was, but overall, this shit was fun, though. Look, I used to look up so many videos of this shit. <laughs> just don't understand why it was going on, but you feel me? 2016, boy. A lot of shit happened in 2016. So much. Think of 2016, you don't think of it without how everyone was afraid a clown would murder them at some point. Yep. Killer clowns were causing mayhem everywhere. I remember a rumor going around my school that one showed up at night and everyone was scared to show up to school the next day. You had the news covering stories of clowns being caught on people's webcams. Totally real YouTube videos were coming out of clowns terrorizing <laughs> people driving. Nobody to this day has even understood why this nationally started happening. Yes, to this day, I don't. Why did that start happening? It, I remember just one day in 2016, I woke up and that shit was a thing. It, it just came out of nowhere. 2016, such an odd year. I think it was yeah. because the It movie was popular, but it could have also been that the internet was just bored and things didn't spread like TikTok back then. If something was nope. big, it was big. And now that it's been years later, I just want to know who the f*** was behind these damn clowns. Like, there had to I really want to see what, what these niggas fake. For everybody that did a clown, can y'all niggas just come together in a, like, a Discord call one day? I just want to see y'all fake. Who was behind these men? And I want to ask, why did you do this? Like, why? What was the point? Like, for what? Why? Some secret organized meeting to troll the entire world. No one has taken credit, so now that we're more than half a decade from this, just please tell me so I can sleep soundly with faith. Another one is fake GTA 6 copies. <laughs> Hey, oh, photograph. I remember that shit. Hey, I remember that shit. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I almost fell for a couple of these a couple of times in my life. <laughs> Motherfuckers used to be they thumb them. I got GCA 6 early. <gasps> Leak GCA 6 cover. I can't believe this is the cover GCA 6. <laughs> I swear to God, y'all don't know. The internet was gone and back. Bo, only real niggas know. Hey, I'm gonna just tell you, I was a nigga called Lispy Jimmy. That's all I'm gonna say. Lispy Jimmy. If you know, you know. You know Rockstar is taking way too f***ing long with GTA 6 if there were entire groups of people thinking the game got leaked and YouTubers had it. I remember so many people falling for Bo, you <laughs> Yo, that shit was funny. Oh, no motherfuckers used to really think the game was leaked. YouTubers uploading videos on how they had secret Told you, early. but I say it was these thumbnails. These are the thumbnails that was... 
free access to GTA 6. Mainly this right here. What I say? This nigga right here. And it's a if you know you. Well, is this Leslie Jimmy or is this the other nigga? But it was this nigga. This nigga really dead has made his own cover of GTA 6 and faked everybody out. This nigga a bitch. No, I've completely forgotten his name, but he basically built a career off doing this. And yep. people to this day still upload videos teasing GTA 6. Which is so crazy. I mean, we already got that leaked look thing from GTA 6 and all this other shit. And shit. They didn't, they didn't like a little kid get locked up in the UK for leaking that shit or something. You know? Like a pre pre build version of the jet of the game. When is GTA 6 coming out? What like 2025 or some shit? Mods and features they secretly have where they have zero clue. Another host I truly believed in was that Mountain Dew kills your sperm. I what? Okay, I never heard about. I never in my life. I probably did, but I don't. I, f I don't know why I feel like I've heard about this, but I don't. No. I, no, G, I ain't heard about that. I ain't hear about this shit. When I first heard this no. as a young lad, I was still a chubby soda drinker, but I swore off Mountain Dew any chance I got. I think this hoax works so well because Mountain Dew was very much advertised to the male population and gamers. And the last thing you want as a guy is blank loads, the ability to not conceive life for the future. To this day, I don't think they ever recover. Like, how many niggas do you know that have Mountain Dew as their choice soda? Uh, because whether or not this was a hoax. I drink pop no more. I remember why you drink. Now I'm Looking at pop, that shit's so disgusting. Uh, but yeah, people, I don't, I don't drink pop no more. I haven't drunk pop since 2016. 2016, I stopped doing a lot of shit. I don't. Oh my god, that shit's so disgusting. I'm thinking about it. Ew, ew. Who the fuck's just having Mountain Dew in a house? Ew. Sure not, the word spread was gonna stay like that. You tell me a food has a slight chance of killing my sperm, I'm never eating there again. You don't facts. ever gotta show me the facts. This was 100% a takedown plan by another beverage company that wanted to see Mountain Dew fall and them take advantage of the male gamer population. And my guess is it was G Fuel because where the f did G Fuel even come To this day, I asked myself the same thing, like, what the fuck did G? I just remember just being on the internet and watching people, and I just seen G Fuel. I was like, "What the fuck is it?" It's like that shit just spawned it out of nowhere. And I remember seeing all like my favorite YouTubers I used to watch with that shit. It used to make me want. Yeah, I never had it to this day, and I don't give a fuck about it. But what the fuck did G Fuel come? It's like that shit just came out of nowhere. It just G Fuel. Here we are. <laughs> from and how did it take over the male gamer population i don't know it's like for if you see a nigga in the background if it's stream or some shit and he got g fuel in the background you just think that nigga op at everything in your life i swear to god you think this nigga just op at games and all types i used to think that shit you see g fuel i'm like oh yeah this nigga him and speaking of gamers another gamer hoax that might be the most popular one ever is hero prime as much as i can sit here and laugh at how stupid the concept of hero i remember hero Prime. I never played Minecraft, but I remember just hearing stupid ass shit about this. Mine was. When I was younger, I 100% thought this nigga was real. Can't even blame me too. There was full on breakdowns on YouTube of how it spawned in the world. Them tracking down and making guides of how to track him down. Mojang even trolled with it and put in one of their updates that they removed Hero Brian. He could have popped out at any moment and I wasn't risking it. I'm really hyping it up now, but in reality, this is how every real Hero Brian footage on YouTube video would go. Run away, run away, run away, run away. It seemed more real back then, okay? When I was younger, I always thought creepy pastas were real too. The oh yeah, creepy pastas. Oh yeah. The classic Squidward Suicide, this shit, Jeff the Killer. Um I remember seeing this shit. For it was so many creepy pastas from Slender Man. My sister told me about Slender Man. There was something else. Obviously Jeff the Killer. Fuck. I used to watch a lot of creepy bosses growing up. Like I said, I was a weird child and nothing scared me. I used to watch a lot of scary ass, like traumatizing ass shit. These little shits really caused generational trauma and I still Not to me. Cover. Like you couldn't tell me that Slender Man didn't have some solid photo proof evidence of existing. And I could have sworn Jeff the Killer was documented in the police book sometimes. Creepy bosses were so well developed, I didn't find out for years that it was fake. And there were always these YouTubers coming out with facts, boy. I ain't gonna lie, it was so point in my life i dead ass was fixated and like i dead ass was like fixated on the idea like yeah slender man is real i dead ass thought this nigga like was real like me and my sister we thought that nigga was real like i knew he was real but now i'm growing up i'm like oh yeah i think he's just a creepy pasta like yeah you know
Whoever came up with Slender Man, boy. Whoever came up with that nigga. Hey, you. You, you, uh. I ain't gonna lie. I like the way you think, Shred. The new stories and evidence that proved even more of them. You had the gaming ones like Sonic. Oh, yeah, I remember this game. Sonic. Uh. XE, what it was called? XE, which yeah. just showed the length people went to make these creepypastas real. Like, there was a whole video game for this. You have the show ones that. Oh, yeah, with Squidward Suicide, like a lost episode of a Squidward that got scrapped or some shit. Turned cartoons into horrific horror nightmares. I could go on about creepypastas, but that's a whole other video. To wrap it up, the internet used to be brimming with hoaxes, and Facts. even though they could make and cause moral panic between people, it got people together, which really is why I miss those times. We don't need a fact checker for everything sometimes it's better for people to believe in a lie than know the real hard truth that's at least how i see it. and to show how hoax stupid people were back then here's another mcdonald's hoax that people believe here's the image and just explain please note an insurance uh, measure due in the parts of recent string of robberies african-american customers are now required to pay an additional fee of one they go what <laughs> i've never seen this to me what's wrong with it while i'm reading as an insurance measure, due in part to a recent string of robberies, African American customers are now required to pay an additional fee of one fee. Hey, y'all be quiet! Yeah, this went on the news and everything. Maybe we are better without hoaxes like this on the internet because people were dumb as f Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and w TikTok. Vid, as always, I love you guys consensually. And until next time, I'm out. WV, man. WV. WV, folks. You feel me? Shout my nigga Tommy NFG in it. <laughs> Four nil. You feel me? Shout out Tommy NFG, folk. Shout out Tommy NFG on the gas. You feel me? WV, man. But it's crazy, though, like, really how far we came as a generation, which I ain't going to say far how much we deteriorated. If that's the word. I don't know. As a generation. Everybody lame as hell, and I really wish the world was in, had in it in 2012. That would have been, like, the greatest thing of all time, Scud. I ain't gonna lie to you. I promise you on my brother, that shit crazy, but... Yeah, man. Whatever, though. Anyway. Shit, I'm telling y'all, folks. Shit is crazy. Shit crazy as hell.